Hey guys, happy Saturday. I hope you all had a fantastic week and are going to have a great weekend. Today's video is going to be the best of beauty 2013 and this is going to be my life-changing edition. So get ready for some dying, some porno sounds, whatever you want to call it. I am super excited about this video. I didn't want to stick to the best 13 of 2013 because I went a little over that, but I'm going to go through everything really quickly and show you the products that have changed my life. As shallow as that sounds, it's the true. OPI Lacquer Removal Nail Polish. This has completely changed the way that I do my nails. I used to dread wearing anything with sparkle, anything with glitter, or red nail polish, and this has made it 10 times easier to remove. So now I don't dread doing my nails. I got this Big Daddy off of Amazon. I think it was around, I'm not kidding, $11, which is a fantastic deal considering that they sell the eight ounce bottle probably over that amount, like $15 or something like that. So got it at Amazon, absolutely love it, and I can't live without it. This is my second huge bottle of this, and I'm just totally sold. What else works is if you get like the exfoliating pads, the ones at CVS that have the ridges on the back, that also helps remove really tough dark colors or glitter nail polish. Love it, can't live without it. Next product is the wet brush. I don't know about you, but after I had my caveman, my hair completely changed, especially the back. It became very coarse and really curly. Believe it or not, I have naturally wavy, curly hair, and this has completely helped comb out my hair. I hated combing my hair out when it's wet, and I still do. I still think that it's such a pain in the ass, but with this, it just makes it 10 times easier. My friend who does my hair used this on me. It had to have been earlier in the summer, like in the spring, and I just fell in love and I got it off eBay for $5.99. I know you could probably get it at Sally's Beauty Supply, but this is a life changer, especially if you have coarse, thick hair and you need like one of those farm machines to comb out your hair, whatever they're called, a tractor, who knows. Sticking with hair is this guy. It's called it's a 10 Miracle Blow Dry Volumizer. What is so unique about this is that when you spray it in your hair, there's no crunch whatsoever. Like not even a little smidgen of a crunch. Amazing, I absolutely love this stuff. And again, Amazon is the place to go. That's where I got this and I love it. And this is probably the best spray I have ever used in my life. It is called, by Motives, and it's called 10 Years Younger. It's the Makeup Setting Spray. This is what it looks like. I have had this for about three months. I keep on forgetting to mention it in my favorites videos along with this. I always do my favorites and I'm like, oh, I forgot to mention those two products. This is a life changer. It completely erases your pores, your wrinkles, any type of like unevenness on your skin, whether it be oily or dry, this completely changes the game for that. I will never go back to another spray in my life because I absolutely Keeping love with this. your skin. The two primers of the year are the Elemis Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Bomb and the Clarins Beauty Flash Bomb. These guys have just, I'm gonna say it again, changed my life. It brightens and tightens. It has a light moisturizer. It just illuminates, absolutely illuminates the skin in like the most perfect way. I love these. This is, the smell of it alone is just a must have. It just smells very lemony. And then this one, again, they're both basically pretty much the same thing. There is a slight price difference, but I will buy these for the rest of my life because they are my go-to primers at this point hands down the best primers probably just because i love the way my skin looks i put it on and i can leave, go to the gym or run to the grocery store in my pajamas which is what i always do like i literally go to the grocery store and my striped top like a striped pair of pants and a top that doesn't match like i don't even care i will just wear these and my skin looks even i can get away with it absolutely love it definitely a must have Okay, let's move on to Lush because I had a really hard time trying to pick the products 
that I wanted to show you from Lush because I use them on a daily basis. I'm completely obsessed with the brand. You know, I could have gone on about every single product that I have, but it would have taken, you know, another half an hour. So I wanted to show you the two most used products. Not to say that they are lo more loved than all my other products from Lush. These are the ones that I just use the most often. So this is the Dream Cream, which is my favorite product ever. It smells like lavender. The smell of it is alone that's why I need to get it it just smell it has the best smell and um, it moisturizes the skin so in love with it this is by far the a must have and then this one is the no drought dry shampoo oh my gosh okay can I just tell you I got, purchased this on Black Friday last year and I not joking I've probably used it every day and that is how much that I've used and it expires in January 2014. So to save yourself some money, it, this comes in a smaller size. Get the smaller size because you probably won't even use it the entire year. It smells, year. has like a lemon lime scent. It's the best dry shampoo that I've ever used because it doesn't leave your hair with a dirty, gritty, crunchy feeling. It My just foundations of the year are the Lancome Tent Visionaire and then the Lancome Tent Idol Ultra. These two guys I have reviewed endlessly. They've been in my favorites, so I'm not going to go too much into them, but they really have changed the way that I feel about foundations because this, not only does this one like have serum and corrects your skin tones, but it also just illuminates the, the skin. The Lancome Tent Idol Ultra is their most popular. It makes your makeup last all day. I love mixing it with the MAC strobe cream for that, you know, semi-matte, dewy foundation look. Just, I love them. These are just, I can't say enough things and I've already reviewed them so I don't want to go too much into it. I, I really chose do like the MAC Pro Longwear. Definitely a must-have. If I had to tell, if I had to give you one concealer to that is affordable and works great and doesn't crease, it would be this guy. Doesn't crease, lasts all day, brightens the area, um, is a must-have, and it'll probably be in a lot of other YouTube gals must-haves as so well. So for this highlighter, I one. chose the Rouge Bunny Rouge, uh, let's see what this is called. Just It's the Rouge Bunny Rouge highlighter. I have all three of these. They sent them to me um, to do a review on, and I love them. Today I'm wearing the Sea of Showers, which is like the bronzy pink one. Literally, you probably only need that much for both sides of your face. It just gives the best illumination out of any liquid highlighter that I've ever tried before. It's very intense, so you only need a little bit, but it's a great highlighter to mix in with your foundation, to wear it on your cheekbones or down your nose. I like to use this prior to my powder, sometimes before my foundation I'll put it on just to add a little bit of luminosity. So versatile. I love, love, love this highlighter and it just blew my mind. It blows my mind every time I put it on. Honestly, when products just, I look at my face and I just am like, whoa, I love the way that that looks. It's for sure. I knew I was going to go crazy me. over this. So for my eyeshadow picks for the entire year, Makeup Geek. If you have never tried Makeup Geek in your life, you need to pause it, click on the down bar at the ones that I have linked, and buy them because not only are they the creamiest, most pigmented, and affordable eyeshadows on the market today, they, she just has the best unique colors as well, and I absolutely was blown away this year. This is my Makeup Geek collection. I actually am having a haul come up with some more that I purchased and some pigments, which are amazing as well, and I'll show you in that haul. But I just want to focus on the eyeshadows because that's how much I love them. So here is the ones my that collection. are my favorites currently, and then I will link them below as well as my eye look because I am wearing some today. So um, this one right here is called Moon Dust. It's a very unique silvery greenish khaki color. This one is called Frap. A very basic brown, but I die every time I wear it. I don't know what it is. 
every time I swatch it, I'm so in awe of it, honestly. Um, the next one I love and I wear on a daily basis is Creme Brulee. Nothing too special, it's just the perfect transition color. Country Girl, right here, which is a beautiful burgundy with some shimmer. I don't have anything like this, and I know she has a lot of dupes on her website, but this one just blows my mind because I don't know, and I will show you the back of my hand in a second. Glamorous. I use, I wear this one a ton, and that's just a beautiful gold color. These two right here, this is a, this is Shimma Shimma. That's a great inner corner highlight. And then you have Hipster, which is a beautiful, beautiful taupey color. And then right here, this guy, whoop, this one right here is called Pretentious. Dying. Oh, moon dust, Frap, Creme Brulee, Country Girl. That is that is glamorous that is pretentious right there and then you have oh right here is hipster absolutely beautiful the liner I actually have two liners that have rocked my world this year one is max black track I don't need to show it that's just you know a given it's just a staple in anyone's makeup collection and then this one by makeup geek which is called rave I think why I like it so much is that it's really unique you can wear it as an eyeshadow base or as a liner, which I've been doing. I've just been really wearing it as a liner. Oh, so freaking amazing. And then it's, it's just creamy. And it's like a bluish, blackish, gray color. Oh, it's so gorgeous. I mean, the powder. This has just blown my mind. This is Tom Ford Illuminating Powder, and I'm just obsessed with it. I'm gonna be doing a Tom Ford top five products of all time. Like this video if that's what you wanna see next because I know since Tom Ford is so expensive that a lot of times people just wanna have an opinion of what's worth it. So I'm going to be doing that video next, and this you're gonna see this guy again, so I'm not gonna to go too much into it. A beautiful setting powder. He did a great job of making this powder create a halo effect of the skin, so it kind of mattifies, but yet illuminates. I don't know how he did it, he's a genius. Absolutely love this. <clears throat> Next is bronzers. Rouge Bunny Rouge gets it done every time. These are fantastic bronzers. They have a really good combination of matte and a slight sheen. This is called At Nether Wave Cove, which is a beautiful, beigey brown and I will swatch these in a second and then this one is at Gold Comb Bay you know neither it's really odd these are so similar but neither of them it's not like one's darker I think this is a little bit cooler toned and then that is warm really gorgeous at Nether Wave Cove are you dying Ugh. at Gold Comb Bay is on top very similar, but they're both so incredibly worth the money. You can purchase them from Beauty Habit, and you can get them from rougebunnyrouge.org or .com. Just so amazing. I just love those bronzers, and they've really knocked my socks off this year. Let's move on to a little blush. Can we just have a moment of silence for the one I'm about to talk about? And I am sure you guys all know that this was going to be in my collection. NARS Lovejoy Baby. Oh. rosy bronze beautiful color that just I don't know it's just freaking to die for I mean I can't even like talk about it like I can't even find my words that's how much I love it it's so gorgeous on any skin tone any single skin tone can wear this shade I am obsessed with it I want to put it all over my body wear it as a bikini and just call it a day I absolutely freaking love the shade and I was gonna wear it in this video I, don't, I totally forgot I don't even know why I did but just get it get it already that's all I'm gonna say about it Dior Rosy Glow I get compliments every time I wear this so therefore everybody needs it in their life because it's gonna look great on everybody stunning absolutely stunning blush I wore this in my 
it was like two videos ago I wore it and I got a lot of compliments I think I did a get ready with me or something but it's beautiful I know that NARS Gaiety is very similar but there's something about this blush that just brightens up your complexion Love Essence it. has just blown me away this year their blushes are one of my favorite drugstore. This is what they look like. I have four colors. They are at what, $1.99, and the texture of them is freaking amazing. You would think that YSL made these blushes by like the texture because it's so rich and pigmented. It's soft. It almost feels like a cream and it just is amazing. What am I wearing today? I'm wearing Sweetheart, which is a peachy pink shade. That's what I'm wearing right now. You can just see how creamy it is. Oh my gosh. And just the pigmentation is freaking nuts. It is so amazing. So that, and then this one is gorgeous. I just wanted to show you this one. This is called Life's a Cherry, and it's a very bright red color, but I mean, it's going to work on all skin tones. Look at that pigmentation right there. I'm just going to put it. So if you are a woman of color or if you have beautiful olive Kim Kardashian or JLo skin, that is right up your alley. It's calling your name. It's calling. You got to go get it. It's $1.99 and you get like Ulta coupons for $3.50 off any $10 or more with it, which they totally gypped us. It used to be five, now it's a 350. So the that lips. is a really good buy. Bite Beauty gets it done. They have really impressed me. And I have to say that Retsina is on my list for the top lipstick of the year. Not only that, but the formulation of Bite Beauty. So it's kind of two in one. The formulation is great. I'm wearing it today. It's the perfect, most flattering nude on anybody. And I feel like <clears throat> everybody needs to have this nude in their life. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's going to look great on any skin tone, and it's the Milani brand. Not only is this drugstore, but I feel like these lipsticks are in a class all its own. My favorite color by far from the Milani is Flamingo Pose number 12. It's the prettiest cherry pinky red color and um it's my favorite the formulation is so smooth so pigmented and i have a, three of these but this one is my favorite i just love 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 it and i feel like every time somebody instagrams like a picture of them wearing this i'm always like "Ooh, what's on their lips and never fails it's the milani flamingo mark Pope. jacobs i mean i've been so impressed with his line but these guys i really really like I have Studded Kiss, which is just a beautiful purple shade, and then um, Kissability. They're creamy. They have a really nice sheen to it, but there's no grittiness to them. If you have a really pale nude, such as Max Flare for Finery, if you put Studded Kiss over it, it creates the perfect pinky nude shade, and I just love it. I think that's why I fell in love with these so much is after I did that combination and I'm like, oh, these have got to be in my, you know, top products of the year just because, I don't know, I'm not a huge lip gloss person, but I really fell in love with these and that's why I'm putting them in there. These two yeah. are life changers. The Lancome Sills Booster XL, which needs to be a staple under any mascara. If you put on mascara, you should put this on first, hands down, because it makes your lashes look like they're false. It opens up the eyes, it curls those lashes, it just adds that extra oomph to any mascara and is just gonna be in my collection forever. And I've never found another primer that does what this does. That's how much I love it. So hands down, 100% a must have. With that being said, the YSL Baby Doll is my favorite mascara of the year. For some reason, I'm usually a drugstore girl, but I've been using this like crazy and I will purchase it till the day I die because I prefer this far over the faux sales because it doesn't have any clumps. The formula is a little bit thinner, so you it's not as coated, so you can build up the mascara really nicely instead of having to like wipe away clumps. Absolutely love this mascara. And then for my eyebrows, I've been dying, absolutely dying over this. This is the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel in blonde, right? Yeah. 
Blonde. It's a beautiful golden shade and I love it because when I put this on I feel like it makes my eyebrows sparkle and I know that's really odd but I just really liked the effect. I'll look and I'll be like, ooh, look at my eyebrows. And they just have a little bit of luminosity to them and um, I can mix this in with other brow products that I'm using. I'm not a huge like brow person. That's why I usually don't talk about it much, but this one is a standout Let's talk a little definitely. brushes. I have two brushes and then I am totally done with this video. First is by Master Wayne and it is his number one brush. I think you knew I was going to have this brush in here, even though it's a recent purchase, it's probably cheating a little bit. It just is a eraser for your pores, that's all I can say. It literally erases your pores. I don't know what he did to this brush if you put like some type of Master Wayne magic potion in it, but it works and I love it and it's worth the money, totally. My final brush and final product of this video is this one, and it's from Sigma. I'm not a huge Sigma person. I really prefer the Sedona Lace because Sigma like raised their prices, something ridiculous, and it's, come on, you're knocking off MAC and you're gonna raise your price, please. The Blending E36, it's a very pointed crease brush, but if you have hooded eyes, small eyes, it is like perfect for getting right in that cream. I'm so glad that I got this. So that is definitely a must have if you are looking for a new crease brush. So um, this is it. I hope you guys have a happy new year. Let me know what you think below of these products. I hope I have led you in the right direction if you have some itch to buy something. And um, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.